Today we're in Boston, right next door to Fenway Park at the Fenmore Apartments. This high traffic concrete courtyard walkthrough is over a hundred years old and is in need of some serious TLC. Over time, the elements have caused major cracking, erosion, and damage. Instead of having all this ripped out and replaced, Colored Epoxies will be applying a double broadcast flake system to restore it with results that are beyond impressive. Stick around. So today's day one and we're gonna start off by power washing. We can't dry grind this because there's so much spalding concrete from all the salt that the concrete has eroded. So we're gonna strip the surface with a power washer and we're gonna use a turbo jet uh, tip that spins around. It's called a rotary turbo jet. So on these stairs, we have to repoint them. The edge of the concrete has broken off, so we're gonna take some plywood, and we're gonna create a plywood form, and we're gonna reshape these stairs. Here's a great pro tip. So when you have cracks like this or spalding concrete from salt, which we have throughout this patio, or real cracks that need to be filled in, the best way to fill that in is called epoxy mortar. What epoxy mortar is, is a modified flexible epoxy developed by coloredepoxies.com. We mix with white thin set. So here's our modified flexible epoxy that we're going to be mixing with our white thin set. White thin set in our flexible epoxy system is used in the commercial industry for filling in all these cracks, all the spalding concrete that you saw, and a lot of commercial jobs, uh, pharmaceutical and those types of industrial floors. So we have a crack here and this is two concrete slabs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair these slabs and we're gonna bond them together with a product called, uh, it's a joint polyurea caulking filler. This stuff is super flexible and it comes out of a spiral mixer and it's a two to one, so it's an A and a B and it mixes in a static mixer. Here we go.
this point, now we're going to fill in all the expansion joints so that when we do the double broadcast of flake, they don't telegraph through. So this concrete is over 100 years old. Over time, the rain has washed away the concrete and has left the exposed aggregate. Since we don't want to put flake directly over this, we're going to skim coat that in with epoxy first and give it a nice flat base to put our product over. This is fiberglass, and this is what we are going to use as an anti-fracture membrane to go over the cracks as an added layer of protection. So this was the crack you saw earlier in the picture. We used hydraulic cement. We patched it all in to make it watertight. Now we're going to put this fiberglass sheathing over it. And what this is going to do is going to bridge this together making a super strong, super durable, never have an issue again. Getting ready to start our vertical application, our double broadcast. We're going to start both of these vertical walls and build it down. So we're getting ready to put our second coat of flake on and now we're going to go ahead We're going to use this floor scraper and we're going to start to scrape this first layer off get ready for our second coat
we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our MFE modified flexible epoxy which is perfect for exterior because it's uh, very flexible and we're gonna roll that out and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this next secondary coat of flake on it we call it the double broadcast So normally at this point we would take our floor scraper as you probably see in other videos to scrape the flakes down and, and to get the high points out but today we want to deliver skid resistance at its maximum because this is a high traveled area we have a lot of water snow and ice that comes down here and the owners are concerned about slip resistance so we are going to deliver them the maximum amount so we're going to put our super uv urethane coating directly over the flake without scraping let me show you a little pro tip on how to clean out your bucket How flexible is our epoxy system? This is why I always buy the best epoxy, modified flexible epoxy system. So we have some Omni non-skid, which is going to give extra skid resistance to the stairs and the patio. So we're going to put a little bit in the palm of our hands, and then we're just going to toss it high in the air. Here we go. We're going to put it on the stairs. Let's get it nice and high and just uniformly and let the wind catch it. hard to believe in just a few short days that we were able to take this concrete and turn it into a refinished beautiful floor we are now going ahead and going to put our final super uv finish coat over it this is the icing on the cake we're going to deliver this floor with a lifetime finish warranty against cracking peeling and chipping no yellowing 100 percent chemical resistance they can broadcast salt whatever they need there's no worries at this point